To a deadly shooting at a Memphis high rise has already been declared a chronic nuisance. Police say a man was killed during an altercation with a woman at Serenity Towers. The woman was heard and is expected to recover. The WRAG's Sherita Patterson spoke with a Serenity resident who says things are getting worse by the day. Seeing this overnight, an area off South Highland saturated with officers. Hey, I don't know about 15 or maybe more than that. I don't know. Instantly had those who call this taxpayer funded high rise home to no longer have a sense of serenity here at Serenity at Highland, commonly called Serenity Towers. After seeing this response from police while also hearing why first responders were here. I just heard somebody that got shot. A scary situation for the 150 tenants, with the majority of them being disabled and or elderly. For those like Mr. Donnie, it was even scarier hearing this was a deadly attack. Yeah, it is building. Well, we don't know. Hey, all we know is somebody got shot. They say died on the scene. So that's all we know. Memphis police filling in the blanks, saying a man was shot and killed while a woman was injured after the two were involved in an altercation. It's unclear, however, how she was injured. But what is clear for those like Mr. Donnie is what it will take to turn things around. Love, peace, and happiness, and stop all this violent killing. We need, we need love in this city. Sadly, Serenity is well known here in the city. Unfortunately, this is the latest incident at a complex that continues to make headlines. Tuesday morning, a representative for Serenity at Highland was in environmental court discussing the issues inside the South Highland high rise. Tuesday night, police were then called here, yet more saga for Serenity. A final plea for Mr. Donnie, who only wants to reclaim that lost sense of Serenity. They so bad about it. They need to stop all this. Killing each other, that don't make no sense. For your news leader in the university area, Jurita Patterson, WREG, News Channel 3.